My name is Hiroko Imada. I am a Japanese artist uh, living in London. I was born in Tokyo in Japan, then um, came to study here. When I was small, I actually brought up in Tokyo, but it was sort of a countryside of Tokyo. I think my inspiration or influence that I got strongly was probably in early days from my mother, because my mother used to like to go to the theatres and um, art exhibitions and so on and so on. Certainly, uh, my recent work has a very strong influence of Hokusai, because obviously, my background, I mean, I was in my third year, fourth year at the university in Japan. I was studying printmaking. So naturally you learn all those um, prints, um, backgrounds and everything. So I was interested in those ukiyo-e um, artists. It's my idea is actually coming from uh, either nature or the dance movement. And recently, I think I'm more uh, to do something related to wave, water wave. More I look at, more I started to discover uh, something really interesting. And I was more impressed with the work by San Francis, uh, Robert Mother, that type of very abstract um, painter's work. And the work with the uh, lots of action uh, and movement transferred onto the canvas. And so when I started to uh, create works at the university, I completely moved to uh, my way of expression, to the abstract way, than the figurative way. As a Roman artist, it was very difficult uh, to accept that if you are achieving something very hard, and, and then obviously your score is better than male student, but you're still treated lower than the male student. Because in Japan, well, more than 30 years ago, um, there were quite a lot of hierarchies in our art world. But I wanted to do whatever I wanted to do. I wanted to have a freedom uh, to express the way I wanted to. And so when I came over here, everything's open to me. I could do anything I wanted to do. I think being an artist isn't easy financially. I think all the artists would probably say so. Um, but it's really difficult to say because um, financial satisfaction is different to each artist, I think. And I was, um, I have been quite happy as long as I can live in a way, you know, live minimum in a way. Um, because if I can earn a lot, that's great. But if I can't earn so much, but still can carry on doing what I want to do, then I'm all right. And so I never really try to become super rich or so, and that's not uh, what I find a happiness probably. And you cannot say how much is enough to run. It's something you decide. I'm sure I have a period that I had a really difficult time financially, uh, but I never thought of giving up my art career. And looking back my time when I just finished my school, I probably never thought of becoming famous artist uh, in future or sort of um, you know, really, really generally very successful, financially successful artist, but I just wanted to be an artist. 
And I think uh, to be able to continue to be an artist is uh, how much you're wanting to be, be so, I think. It's nothing to do with uh, the situation around you most of the time. You think you'd like to think about it in that way, but it is actually not. It's more uh, to do with probably your determination. And if you determine yourself to be as an, be an artist, then you will. And if your determination is not enough, then you won't. It is actually as simple as that. So before asking how can I finance myself as an artist or so, so on, you should think about do you really want to become an artist? 